Welcome to the Daily Challenge. I'm your coach, Po Shan Lo. What do you think is the biggest difference between people who are really good at math and people who find math hard? It's what you're doing right now, thinking. It's not about memorization or about speed. For me, I got to discover this way of looking at math by growing up in America and falling into math counts the largest tournament-style middle school math competition. I thought I was pretty good at school, but those problems were really hard. See, you don't have to love competing with other people, but real hard challenges give you the opportunity to compete against yourself, to prove to yourself that you can do something today that you could not do yesterday. That feels so good. I designed this course based on everything I learned doing math contests myself and coaching others. And so you might notice that it will feel very different from a normal class. I won't teach you topics or techniques to memorize. Actually, I won't even teach you anything at all at the start of each lesson, and instead give you the problem to think about yourself first. You might think that feels a bit unfair, but that's okay because that part isn't graded. This is your chance to try to invent your own way to solve each problem. Maybe you'll even figure it out before I give it away. I'll give you some hints along the way to help you along. Then I'll talk about how to do each problem, often showing some hidden surprises, because every problem is very carefully designed to teach lots of concepts at the same time. When practicing after each lesson, don't stress if the problems seem hard because they are all twists beyond what you have just learned. The secret isn't memorization. It's being able to think on the spot, to become able to think about all of mathematics, not just the problems you have learned how to do. Even in our weekend problem set, we have carefully designed problems that aren't just like what we did during the week, but they let you unleash your creativity. They're hard, so it feels good to solve them. Along the way, if you have any questions, please use the discussion feature to ask and answer in our community. If you keep on thinking with me through our course series, then you will discover that you become so used to thinking about math that no matter what middle school math contest problem you run into, you won't be scared. It will just feel like another daily challenge problem. For this first month, I'll give a sampler of the wide variety of topics in middle school competition math, the Math in Math Counts and the AMC8. These are algebra, combinatorics, geometry, number theory, and probability. We'll jump around between faraway topics on purpose to help you get used to our style, which focuses on creative thinking instead of learning methods to memorize and practice hundreds of times. In the later courses, I'll take deep dives into each of those subject areas, covering all the background you'll need to think about middle school math competitions, while also letting you really practice thinking. By the end, you'll be mathematically fearless. Enough for now. Let's get thinking. See you at the first challenge.